All right. I just woke up not too long ago, and people have already figured this shit out. So I'm going to make a video on it so it's more accessible to the public. But rebuffs. We knew that, that this was a question that I had. How much is this going to do? So rebuffs, in a nutshell, if you're... Because I didn't go over the pairs, so I'm just going to press this for my channel, at least. If you know, you know. Rebuffs are a debuff that increase damage taken by a certain type. And this will be available for all 18 types in the future because we have we have one of them out right now being Wally and Gardevoir and two more coming being Alistair and and and, and Giga Gorgeist, which I might just call it Gigaist because that's kind of fucking funny to me. And Gordy and Colossal. Gordy and Colossal being able to lower it by two and Garvar by one. Now, let me actually pull up Gorgax, because I, I forget how much she can lower by two. Okay, so she can lower by two as well. So her and Gorgie can lower by two, Garvar by one. However, Gorgie, Gordy, and Garvar having the benefit of having their own respective field effects. So they can in artificially increase it by even more. So Gordy being the best one. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go over that. Okay, everything else here is pretty tame. Sporty X, tank, pretty good. So, Garvar. So, so po Poma Tools, let's figure out how this shit works. And they put it all here for us. So, it looks like it's going to be plus three, minus three, period. So, we're not going to get plus six shenanigans or, or, or anything. But they figured out how much minus one to three is by taking three Gardevoirs in the co-op. That's the only way to achieve this at the moment. And even though we can't achieve three in single battles for quite a while. The most we'll be able to achieve is two. So minus one gives you a 30% damage buffs buff to all moves. So just like how CS2 applies to everything, this rebuff applies to everything. Normal moves, max moves... And sync moves. This applies to everything. So minus 1 is 30. Minus 2 is 50. And minus 3 is 60. So these are multiplicative buffs with each other. Or debuffs I should say. Meaning that they mean that they get, le they get less potent the more you put on them. So it's not 30, 60, 90. That would be a denative. This is multiplicative. There's a difference between that. How phys physical next and special next work, those are identitive because it's 40, 80, 120, so on and so forth, up to 10 stacks. Zones, this, all of these multipliers are identitive to, to each other. So when you hear me do math, for example, I'm going to do some math with the Garvar right now, like some basic calculations. And this will probably end up being its own video in the future, being how, how math works in this. But I'm giving you the basic gist right now. So zones are 50. Every, every field effect is 50% if they buff it. I say it because of sand and hail. Because those have separate buffs in game. So you have zone being 50. If you, But then you have minus one fairy rebuff for a 30. So that's 80. But then let's say you use fairy wish before, right? Let's say you use Fairy Wish, you're five out of five, and you don't, and you didn't consume the special next. That's another forty. So that's one hundred twenty percent on one move. If for some reason you are able to get both off, you would have eighty one twenty one sixty, one sixty percent on your next move. So, so like physical special, so physical special next is meant to be hit, hit. Hit it's consistent extra damage, it's extra burst damage. When it comes to rebuff, it is literally a consistent debuff. It doesn't go away unless it's legendary arena and they and they cleanse everything. So this has the same category as like flinching, trapping, those. I call them afflictions or whatever you guys want to call them. They're not status conditions like burn, sleep, poison. They're not that. They are the trapping and flinching category. 
if that makes sense, of where you'll be able to apply these even when there's no status conditions on. Will this uh, will this trigger acute senses? We don't know yet. It'd be very cool if it did, because stuff like uh, crit hit next, uh, sure hit next, all those actually get rid of acute senses. So that leads me to believe that they'd be able to do it. So yeah, Garbar, 8% for, 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 for just existing. Diantha has fairy power, for example. So, so that'd be even, so that's another 50% on top of all of this. And Garbar, Garbar, it works very well, because when an ally mega evolves, so you can mega evolve with Diantha, but to then just trigger be Dazzling Gleam. That, that's how that works. Then, Gory over here. Two out of two use move tar shot. So you, you can get this down to minus two. So he can get the 50% with max flare. So that's an extra 100%. That's an X2 multiplier for just three actions. You don't have to do not just yet at all. You can do one, two, three. And congratulations. You have a support EX up. You're, you're, whoever, whoever you're working to set up is fully set up. And you're just good to go. And because this pair is Gower, this would work super fucking well with Leon and Charizard. Who already gets himself special next. No, not special next. Super effective up. He gives himself super effective up. So if you have someone who can give him special next, for example, or, or a Gower support for his master passive, you are cooking. Quite literally. So, so, now that we've gone over rebuff, I just have one question to ask. Why? Why do we need this? Because so far, so far, there is no content hard enough that justifies another damage modifier to exist in the game. This makes me think of, this makes me think a few things. One, because they put it on a general pool unit. These are going to directly reflect extreme battles in the near future. Another example here is that this mentions raised type rebuff. Means that it's, it's a possibility that opponents in the future might raise their elemental resistances. That's a little scary to think about. Will this be a new form of content? Period. I really don't think so. I think that these. I think that these are just going to be power crept, mass. No, not map. I was going to say master battles. What the fuck? Power crept extreme battles. Thank, thank you, me. Good job. Wake up. So, yeah. Just why do we need this? Like, CS is piss easy. 2, 2k is easy. Um, extreme battles, like, 9 out of 10 of them can be done without the intended character. At all. Especially with the recent ones where they started doing the type and the region each gets the buff. Which, I like that a lot. That makes it a lot easier. I hope that they keep doing that, and I hope that this... Is like kind of justifying that direction. Oh, because I just did the um, Red, Red and Pikachu and Cynthia and Lucario extreme battles. I fully admit I used Cynthia for the fighting one because I did not want to think about it. But I did the electric one just fine. Sure, Blastoise took a 980 mega kick to the face. But I, I beat it first try with no real issues. Zekrom, Luxray, Blue, and Blastoise. So, like, having the type be included along with the region is super helpful. With any extreme battle. But then, then Ashes was just run free. So, I just did Groudon, Camera Upt, and Nosepass, I think it was. Yeah, I did Nosepass because I was rushing through all the other ones the day before. And then I was too lazy to change, to change the team. So, these badges of extreme battles have been relatively easy. So I think that they're, they're going to make it easier for the general player. While giving this as an extra. But if they make another form of content, like a difficulty above Ultra Hard, for example. And they start including type rebuff stuff. 
I guess. I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. I don't have any kind of information on this. This is just purely out of my ass. But yeah, I guess that that is just my one question. Why? So if you guys have any thoughts on that about what they could be doing or if you think that this is perfectly fine and I'm just kind of overthinking things, by all means, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.